Now we will find the interaction effect AB. In order to do so, again repeat the same process, find the contrast initially. So we have AB value 91 means when A and B at low level 80, A equal to 100 and B equal to 60. We got AB effect is equal to 1.67. It means that interaction effect is found to be positive and then interaction effect appears to be small relative to the main effects. The coefficient of the two terms x1, x2 in the regression equation with the name b12, it will be equal to 1.67 divided by 2. And it comes out to be 0 0.835. Here you can see in the regression model that 8.33 has been divided by 2 and minus 5 has been also divided by 2 to get the regression coefficient. Whereas the 27.5, this is the big this is the mean of all the replications. If I add all 12 values, it comes out to be, the sum comes out to be 330 and I have total 12 values. So this is equal to 27.5. The same problem when solved in the mini tab. These are the results. We got sum of scale equal to 208, 75 and 8.33. Here you can get a straight away clue that the sum of scale for the AB is found to be the least. Here you can also calculate the Percentage contribution of eight uh, of A B, so 8.33 divided by uh, we have total sum of scale equal to 323. So we get a very small value, only 2.54 percent, which is very small. So that's why we can also see that the P value is too much greater than 0.05. So it is a symbol. It is a sign that interaction effect is found to be insignificant is that how you can identify an insignificant or significant factor the straight away and easy of all is the p-value if it is smaller than 0.05 significant the second way is check the compare the f value f calculated or f computed value with the f tabulated or f critical value but it will take some time and the third one is because you will have to compare it with the values that have been provided in the tables that are in the books or in the internet. The third one is compute this percentage contribution and the, those factors and the main effects or interaction effect whose percentage contribution is the smallest you can ignore them or you can pull them or drop them from your model. We can clearly see that the sum of scale for, of A is the highest so it has the highest it's the most significant factor and p values the smallest then 75 greater it has less it is um, less percentage contribution and again it is found to be significant but not as compared less significant as compared to the factor a r square adjusted means that these two factors a and b they have explained 90.3 percent variation in the yield in the response variable and then a lot lost 9.7% uh, of the variation in the yield or response is still unknown. We have a total of 12 degree of uh, 12 number of observations. So 12 minus 1, 11 degree of freedom. Each of the factor has two levels. So we have only one degree of freedom for A and B. A, B can be calculated by using the formula A minus 1 and B minus 1. So also 1 multiply 1 is equal to one further the rep number of replication you perform all those reading will be contributed to the pure error for example in this case if i perform um, um can say a five replication so the four replications or 16 observations they will be directly contributed to the pure error in that case in, ca in this case we have only three replication so one replication contributed towards the calculation of this a so this 208 comes out to be there 20 and 8 the mean square of b can be calculated as this 75 divided by 1 this degree of freedom we got 75 likewise 8.33 divided by 1 we will get 8.33 then how we can calculate this f value f value can be calculated we have to divide the mean square of specific factor just like 208 divided by mean square of the error that is equal to 3.92 and we will get 53.19 likewise if you want to calculate this 19.15 how we will calculate divide the 75 with 3.92 
So we got 19.15 as the F value. So in this way we can compute here is a question the F test for the model source is testing the significance of the overall model that is is either A, B or AB or some combination of these effects are important. So the answer is yes. The A and B is found to be an important variable or parameter. However, their interaction effect is found to be insignificant and it can be dropped out from the model. Thanks for watching this part. Bye.